Back to the numbers. I thought they were stunning numbers from the education department. Listen to this. 40% of people with student loans have not been making their monthly payments. Nine million of the 22 million people with loans not making payments. Nine million. Stephen Hayward is with us, and he's a professor at Pepperdine University. When I interview a professor, I always figure you've got to be some kind of socialist, but I don't think you are. So try this one. Uh, th those numbers on people not paying off their student loans strikes me that we've got a bailout coming. You agree? Oh, I think that's probably right. I mean, uh, since this is a business network, uh, if colleges and universities were publicly traded companies, I'd have a massive short position right now. I mean, the cost of higher education has been soaring well beyond the rate of inflation for decades, higher than uh, the rate of uh, increase in housing during the bubble, higher than the cost of health care, at a higher rate than, than health care was rising. Uh, and, uh, uh, and I'm not surprised that a lot of students are saying, well, wait a minute, I've been encouraged to load up on debt and I'm not getting a job. Uh, I think the but product being delivered is, uh, is subpar, and I, I think there's a, a, a bubble coming. Well, let me bring you up to speed on the latest developments in what we call campus lunacy. A Dartmouth <laughs> College sorority cancelled its Kentucky Derby-themed party. Protesters claimed it was offensive. Why would it be offensive? The party was, they say, racially offensive, because it evoked the aesthetics of the plantation era in the South. Stephen, this is such nonsense. This is my opinion now. That is such nonsense. It brings the college, all colleges, into disrepute. You know, I am old enough to remember the 1960s, and, if, and I'm not a leftist, I'm a conservative, but if I were a leftist from the 60s, I would be deeply embarrassed right now at the campus left today. You know, in the 60s, the students were protesting real civil rights problems, you know, real segregation, protesting a war in Vietnam that was killing 500 young Americans a week in combat. Now we get upset when somebody writes something in chalk on the sidewalk and, you know, lose our lunch over it. It's just pathetic what's going on on campuses. But it's the anti-university. I mean, I, when I went to college, and when I sent my own children to college and my grandchildren, I want them to go and rub up against each other with intellectual ideas, bounce off ideas. It's a laboratory of ideas. What we're seeing today is the precise opposite, a safe space so that you don't have to listen to somebody with an alternative point of view. I mean, it's the anti-university. That's what gets people so exasperated. Yeah, you know, back in the 60s, again, to contrast the student left then with today, Back in those days, no one talked about safe spaces. Instead, they said, we want to be adults. We want to grow up faster. We want to engage the world and talk about controversial ideas. By the way, in the 60s, the students also believed in having sex without lawyers present. And you know, today, we have all this crazy consent business on campuses. And uh, as I say, it's, it's really astonishing to, uh, it, it, the comparison you can make is the student radicals of the 60s look almost like conservatives today by how different they were in, in this kind of issues they talked about in their whole overall demeanor. Stephen, do you remember Mario Savio, the free speech movement out of Berkeley oh. in 1963? I remember it very well. I mean, who could not be in you favor? Know, free yeah. speech! And now we've got the precise opposite. It drives me nuts. Last word to you, Stephen. Yeah, right. Well, you know, uh, universities have a dark future if they give in to this essentially totalitarian ideology. It does grow out of the 60s if you trace it all the way back. Uh, but good grief. Uh, what we really need now is one college president to stand up and say to yes. these cry bullies, yes. if you don't like it here, you can go to college somewhere else. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just found a new frequent guest on Varney and Company. His <laughs> name is Stephen Hayward, a professor at Pepperdine. Come back. Every day of the week, if you will, please. Stephen, thank you very much indeed. Well, thank you, Stuart. I hope you got tenure. All right. <laughs>